following the split and also too like given the fact that this track was very much still an indie car type track would you like to see this place come back on the circuit well first off i don't miss driving the car at all okay? <laughs> <laughs> but i would definitely like to see indie cars come back to mis i think uh, you know the, the the tradition here is is great with both NASCAR and IndyCar, and, and so uh, you know uh, we would love to see IndyCars come back here. I think that they they put on a great show here. You know, uh, with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway being a single groove racetrack for the most part, and uh, what I enjoy about Michigan so much is the fact that there's so many different racing lines out there that you weren't just stuck to one line and, and so uh, especially with the Indy car so um, I think uh, you know today's Indy car would go really well around here and, and it would put on a one act of the show. Taylor? Uh, Taylor DeSormo with MLive.com. Um, Al, in the 1990 kart race that you won, I know it set a record petting um, pace that day. What do you remember for, from that win and that day? Trying to outrun my teammate Bobby Rahal is what I remember that day, and and uh, we didn't have a lot of yellows during that day, so uh, it was a record for 500 miles at that time. I think we averaged 189 right in that area, so uh, the race went by pretty quick, to be honest. But those last few laps uh, with Bobby Rahal right on my tail, that was uh, we we had a heck of a race that day. We'll go up here to George and Steve in the press box. Uh, for Ben, uh, George Poley from Macomb Daily. Ben, don't know how much you're you're still plugged into the NBA, but just if you would comment on uh, what's your take on the direction of the Pistons from the move downtown and the direction they seem to be going on the court, and also, do you see Chauncey being a GM someday? <laughs> they got all political on you. Wow. <laughs> You know, I'm actually, um, I'm, I'm actually act actively involved, you know, um, me and, um, you know, my partner, Steve Jabbar, you know, we're the owners of the Grand Rapid Drives, you know, the um, Pistons minor league team, and, um, and the direction that the Pistons is going in, you know, I like to hire, you know, with, um, with, with Dwayne Casey, you know, I know Dwayne Casey personally, you know, um, I saw how he was able to to energize and build that Toronto team, and um, I think he's, he's definitely going to help the Pistons. You know, as far as Chauncey being a GM one day, you know, I would love to see Chauncey, you know, um, head an operation, you know, with the Pistons. You know, I, I think, you know, as a leader who won a championship here, you know, I think the city itself would love to see Chauncey here, you know, getting it done in the front office. You know, um, as a teammate, you know, I know he's more than capable. You know, I'd have, I'd have been in the locker room with him. I'd have been in the trenches with him. You know, um, he was able to keep me and Rashid in line, so I know he can run a front office. <laughs> Come here, Steve. All right, uh, Steve Newman, WINT Radio. Hell, good to see you. Um, what about the parody that seems to be kind of like on again, off again, both in IndyCar and NASCAR? Are you a fan of the parody and templates, or do you like the diversity coming back into the sport, kind of like, you know, race what you brung type of thing. And by the way, you still have that picture of Bud Weiser I shot with you <laughs> at your first Cleveland win? I'm sure I do, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, me being 56 years old, I'm a traditionalist, you know, and so uh, I, I won my both my 500s in cars that no one else had, you know, in 92, in the Gallmer, and then... 94 with the Penske. I, I love being able to uh, develop the automobile, develop the, the, the race cars, and so, you know, I would love to see, you know, more of run what you run kind of scenarios, but but in today's economy and all that kind of stuff, it, it uh, I don't think it really makes sense. So, you know, um, I wish it was back in the, the way that we used to run them. I mean, that's, that's honestly why I wanted to go drive for Roger Penske was because he built his own car. And when you can be a part of the, the innovation and, and, and the 
development of, of the fastest cars in the world, it, it's exciting to do. So, um, but, you know, everything's different these days, and, and so it, it, it's kind of a question that's over my head, honestly. So. We'll go up to the press box for a question. Uh, yeah, Wolfgang Monzer from Germany, Ranchport Press Agent. I have a couple of questions for Al Anzer Jr. Al, you just mentioned you drove the Penske and the Gelmer. I think uh, both American cars but built in England. If I remember correctly, the Gelmer was engineered by Alan Mertens uh, back in Bristol, where March was built. Did you ever race the car here at the Michigan Speedway? And can you compare the Penske and the Gelmer, which was better quality? Well, they were both winning cars, and so... Uh you know, um, I did race both of those cars here at MIS, and uh, and we, we actually, with the Penske car, we developed the 209 pushrod engine here at, at Michigan during January and February of, of 1994, and, and I can tell you, running around here in January is just too cold, okay, it was freezing out there, and, and uh, but um, you know, each car was 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 to the best quality that, that it could be, and and uh, and so I enjoyed running both of them. We'll take one final question from Greg Krupa. Appreciate talking with you guys today. Thanks a lot. Um, Al, is uh, MIS a little too dangerous for IndyCar with the banking? Not at all. Not at all. Michigan is a it's a wonderful racetrack. It's extremely fast. Again, what what. What makes it special is that you can run so many different lines out there. You can enter high, come off low, or you can enter low and come off high. I mean